everybody, it's Jason Blaha with Ice Cream Fitness here, and it is time for part two of the Monday Q&A. But hold on, let me give you guys a bicep shot first. But hold on, let me give you guys a bicep shot first. Alright, first question. When taking a week off due to mild illness, how much muscle can I preserve on a high protein maintenance calorie diet? If you do that correctly, if you eat true maintenance, you rest up, you get all your, your macronutrients, you get enough dietary fat, essential fats, and you eat high protein, that week off you shouldn't lose any muscle. Now you might come back weaker, you might come back a little lighter because you've dehydrated and lost some muscle glycogen, but Within one week, you will be right back where you were. It's not really a big deal in that situation as long as you're getting sufficient protein. You're not going to lose any real amount of muscle mass. You'll lose a little muscle glycogen. You might detrain slightly, but you're not going to lose much, if anything, in the way of tissue protein. So it might take you a week to catch back up where you were. So that week will cost you a total of two weeks of progress. But otherwise, not a big deal as long as you do those things. All right, next question. Physical job plus training for powerlifting. How can one manage to not be so tired naturally? Well, what you have to do there is realize, one, you will adapt to the physical job and training behind it. Lots of people do it. I know guys who do it who have physically demanding jobs who still train for powerlifting, bodybuilding, other things. And a lot of them do it natural. I have a friend who I know personally right now who you guys have seen in some of my videos training who has a physical job and he competes very successfully as a drug-free powerlifter. But he eats something like 5,500 calories a day in order to maintain his body weight or even make slow gains. So he needs a lot of food accordingly and that's really what you need to do. You need to be pretty much cramming down carbs. You're going to need to make up for it with plenty of sleep. You're going to need a lot of nutrition. You're going to need extra calories. That's the main thing is to consider that you're going to need additional sleep and calories. That's the most important part and over time your body will simply adapt to the workload and you shouldn't have a problem placing very well in powerlifting meets doing this as long as you do those things. It's not really a big deal. All right, last question in this segment. Would you have sex with Ian McCarthy if you were a woman? Well, if I were a woman, I would most likely be a lesbian. So the answer is obviously no. Now, if I was a straight woman, Actually, I can't really visualize that. If I was a woman, I, I really couldn't be a straight woman. <laughs> I would have to be a lesbian. So to answer the question, it would, it would be no. Sorry, Ian, but the answer is definitely no. All right, guys, well, that's really all I have to say on that today. I hope it's been informative, and I will talk to you guys next time.